Welcome back. A few months ago, we told you about the rise in popularity of trap shooting. South Prairie shooters have found success at the line, including one of the original members, Tate Novodvorsky. He originally joined to have fun, but has since found himself chasing local, state, national, and even international titles. It's like shooting free throw on a moving hoop. You could stand in the same spot all day, but everything else is moving. Oh! The superintendent came up to me and said that we were gonna go shoot shotguns and compete. It sounded a lot better to me than running track. Tate Novodvorsky has been a trap shooter for the last six years. Oh. He was one of the original 18 shooters for South Prairie's team. I started with an 870, just my regular hunting gun, and over the years, I learned that there is steps you can take in getting a better shotgun to improve your skill, but it's really not gonna help you unless you have the base skill set to move. From placing sixth at nationals in 2019 to winning the state championship last year, he says it's taken a lot of trial and error to get here. I learned by aiming a little bit, and then I found out that that's, that really doesn't work on that fast and moving targets. You really gotta just shoot and learn where your gun hits. And if you just trust yourself, after a while, it just goes to that spot. And there's times you won't even know you pulled the trigger. To shoot 99 out of 100 in rainy, wet conditions, you know, I'll go duck hunting with that kid any day because I know he's going to shoot pretty well in the bad weather. One bird at a time, and I really just don't want to miss the next one. So subconsciously, I work harder to make sure all my form is perfect and that I'm really locked on that next one. Tate says he tries to shoot at least two times a week, firing around 250 rounds every time. I've talked to people that think that for themselves, an 80 is good. Well, for me personally, I aim for perfect and beyond perfect. And that's really helped me push to get further in this game. In 2021, he found himself competing at the international level at the Grand American World Trap Shoot in Sparta, Illinois. I kept watching the scores and texting back and forth. And how'd shoot and go today? Well, all right. And, well, that meant he shot okay, which meant he shot above average, which meant he probably placed that day. And that's just how Tate is. He's, he's a very humble kid. The speed that the clay leaves the box in an international competition is a lot faster than it is at nationals. 67 miles per hour versus 42 for singles. It was a 50 bird shoot and I ended up running a 45 out of 50. What was that feeling like? It was, it was fun. It's something that I really hadn't practiced much before. Because when you shoot international, it's a higher speed target. And then it changes up, down, and left to right all over. Basically, a clay can go wherever within a box, whereas American Trap, it's just on a flat horizon, and it can just go left or right. Okay. along that line. So you had never practiced for that before? No. So you were going in blind, basically? Pretty much. And you got 45 out of 50? Yeah. Beyond all of his success, Tate wants to help the next generation of shooters. Anytime he's back in town, it's like, we need you out to the club, we need you helping our young kids. And that's the big thing that he, he took on and accepted. He, he took more of a leadership role. Um, help him train some of the younger kids. Tate now shoots collegiately for the University of Wyoming. He's currently shooting first on the team, heading into nationals this spring. It's just such a neat thing to see him thrive and flourish like that. And, you know, he's helped every kid along the way that's got to shoot with them. And it's not a competition when you're standing at the line with them. It's there to help and make everyone around him better because the success of the team comes from everybody winning, not just one kid. For KX Sports, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. Well, Tate says his goal was to compete internationally again, and it runs in the family. His younger sister, Miranda, is also a successful trap shooter for South Prairie. Stay tuned. We've got more after the whistle after the break.